Welcome to the World Register Report. The World Register is an independent news source providing truthful, unbiased, and timely reporting of people, places, and events. Commentaries are also provided on selected stories from time to time. Reuters News Agency reports today that U.S. President Donald Trump received a warm welcome in Saudi Arabia, landing at King Khalid International Airport in the capital city of Riyadh, President Trump was met on the tarmac with a full arrival ceremony by the nation's King Salman. President Trump and King Salman spoke cordially through an interpreter at the Royal Al Yamama Palace. During the visit, King Salman bestowed President Trump with the King Abdul Aziz Medal, which is the country's highest civilian honor. Also, a $110 billion deal was reached in which Saudi Arabia will purchase U.S. weaponry with options for as much as $350 billion over a 10-year period. Back in the U.S., the mainstream media continued their attacks over unsubstantiated accusations of a Russian collusion with President Trump's 2016 campaign. His supposed calling former Federal Bureau of Investigation Director James Comey a nut job, and Washington Post's vague and unverified story about a current White House official close to President Trump that is a significant person of interest in the investigation into possible ties with Russia. South Front reports today that a Norwegian force has been deployed to the Al Tanf border crossing after moving from Iraqi territory into Syria. The Norwegian force is part of the U.S.-led coalition. The Norwegian force is reportedly there to protect the Syrian side of the border crossing after an Islamic State attack in the area. The deployment of the additional coalition forces to the Al Tanf border crossing comes on the heels of a May 18 coalition strike against Syrian government forces advancing near by. Breitbart News Network reports today that the city of New Orleans, Louisiana, has removed a monument dedicated in 1884 to Robert E. Lee. Mayor Mitch Landrieu's administration is also responsible for the removal of other monuments dedicated to the Battle at Liberty Place, Jefferson Davis, and PGT Beauregard. According to the report, Landrieu deemed the monument's Quote, symbols of white supremacy. Also, take em down NOLA and stand with dignity, which are two left-wing Black Lives Matter aligned organizations, lobbied Landrew to go further. They are calling for the removal of more than a dozen monuments and street name changes.